President Abdul Hamid also emphasized on exchanging public private visits between the two countries mentioning that both Bangladesh and Maldives are exposed to the high risk of climate change the president stressed on taking joint efforts to face the adverse effects of climate change the new high commissioner of the Maldives expressed her gratitude to the Bangladesh government for sending medical items to combat COVID-19 in her country. The new envoy sought uh, the president's cooperation in discharging her duties. President's Office Secretary Shampoo de Borwa, Military Secretary Major General S. M. Shami Muzman, and Secretary attached to the president's office, Mohammed Wahidul Islam Khan, were present. The second batch consisting of 1,804 Rohingyas reached Bhashanchor in Hatia Upozila in Noakali district from Chotogram's Potenga Boat Club under the supervision of Bangladesh Navy today. Earlier, the Rohingyas came to Potenga from Ukhya Balukali camp in Cox's Bazaar and they started their journey for Bhashanchor on five Navy ships. Around a lakh Rohingyas will go to Bhashanchor in phases. Food items for three months have been stored in Bhashanchor. Cooked items will be provided to Rohingyas by different NGOs. The government has provided infrastructure of 120 cluster villages on the 13,000 acres of Chorland at a cost of 3,095 crore taka with its own funds to accommodate more than one lakh Rohingyas. The first cargo ship has anchored as test trial at Matarbari Deep Sea Port, the first ever deep sea port of the country at Moheshkali in Cox's Bazaar today. Panamanian flag bearing Venus Triumph left Indonesia's Pela Bhubon Chilegon port for Matabari on the 22nd of December, loaded with steam generator machinery. The ship entered the port at Channel in the morning today. The 14 kilometer long channel, which is 250 meters wide and 18 meters deep, was kept ready for anchorage of the cargo ship. Later pilots of the port took the ship to the temporary jetty of the coal-fired power plant. Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary said SPCD project and Bangladesh Association of Parliamentarians on Population and Development, BAPPD, have connected people with the members of parliament. The speaker said this as she spoke as president of BAPPD at the first joint meeting of the three subcommittees of the organization at Purvachol Club today. She was virtually connected to the meeting. Member of Parliament ASM Firoz chaired the meeting, which was also addressed by parliamentarians Meher Afroz, Shamsul Hok Duku, Vice Principal Abdus Shohid, Dr. Habib Millat, Shahid Zaman Sharkar, Arma Dottu, and Adiba Anjum Mita. Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary said violence against women had increased globally during the corona pandemic and the situation demanded everybody's innovative, concentrated deliberations to tackle the situation. She further said regular activities of the project needed to be carried out in high schools and colleges to raise awareness amongst, against child marriage among the, particip among the parents. Awami League General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir has said huge participation of voters in the municipal elections proved that democratic system was functioning well in the country. He made the remarks while briefing media through online from his official residence in the capital today. Ubaidul Qadir said Awami League nominated candidates had won in the municipal polls massively, which was an example of trust placed in the government of Sheikh Hasina, mentioning that BNP candidates had won two municipalities among 23.
Obadul Qadr thanked BNP for participating in the polls, coming out from the culture of election boycott. He also said people expressed their satisfaction over EVM system at every municipality. And it proved that there was no scope of voter fraud through the technology-based EVM system. Bijoyder Bangladesh Aumaliger Pokotege Obinondon Danachi Abung Shotas Puttobabe Bapo Gong Shogroner Badome Budadigar Prokora Shangrish to Alakar Budadera Mijanachi Antori Dunva Bangladesh Aumaliger Mononito Partira Bijoni Shitkute Dolly Abung Shajuki Shangodone Neta Kurmira de Pujar Kajokrom Purichal Nakurate Tade Shokal Kyo a corona kale ami dhonnobad janacchi mirza pokrul sahab ke bolte chai kutkousholer ashro niye kotshober jeta din ekhon ar nei itihasher par theke shikkha niye khorgosh ekhon sachoton khorgosher gotike tini jodi awamlik ke tulna kore thaken tobe bolbo jononondito awamlik deshorotno shekhasini ar natchitte adhommo gotite giye jacche সমৃদ্ধি সোনালি সোপানে উত্তরণের শেষ ধাপে পৌঁছানোর আগে আমাদের মাসপথে থামার বা ঘুমোনোর কোনো সুযোগ নেই গল্পের কচ্ছবের মতো বিএনপি জনগণের মনের ভাষা বুঝতে না পেরে স্লেইনস পেইসের চলতে থাকবে কিন্তু আধুনিক প্রযুক্তি মনস্ক গতিশীল বাংলাদেশ গড়তে শেখাসিনার সরকার খরগোশের অদম্য গতিতেই পৌঁছে যাবে সমৃদ্ধ বাংলাদেশের গন্তব্যে মাসপথে থামিয়ে দেওয়ার কোনো অপশক্তি কিংবা অপকৌশল আর কাজে লাগবে না ইনফরমেশন মিনিস্টার and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the Awami League encourage the culture of criticism. He said this while speaking as chief guest at the Biennial Council of Chottogram Press Club at the organization's Bongobuntu Hall in Chottogram today. The information minister said Bangladesh enjoyed more freedom of expression than many developed nations. The BNP criticizes the government uninterruptedly and at the same time claiming that there's no freedom of speech in the country. This is simply ridiculous. Yeah. Beauty of democracy is a এবং সেই সমালোচনা করে সমালোচনাকে সমাদৃত করার মানসিকতা লালন করে দ্যাট ইজ দা বিউটি অফ ডেমোক্রেসি এটি থাকতে হয় তবে যখন অনেক অহেতুক সমালোচনা হয় এবং যখন ভালো কাজে প্রশংসা হয় না তখন কিন্তু যারা ভালো কাজ করে বা করার চেষ্টা করে কিংবা করার মানসিকতা লালন করে তারা কিন্তু হতাশ হয় তখন মানুষ ভালো কাজ করার জন্য উৎসাহিত হয় না তাই আমি আপনাদের কাছে অনুরোধ জানাবো অবশ্যই সমালোচনা হবে সমালোচনা থাকবে কিন্তু এটির পাশাপাশি ভালো কাজের প্রশংসাও দরকার চট্টগ্রাম প্রেস ক্লাব প্রেসিডেন্ট আলী আব্বাস প্রিজাইডেড ওভার দ্য প্রোগ্রাম জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি অফ দ্য অর্গানাইজেশন চৌধুরী ফরিদ ভাইস প্রেসিডেন্ট সাউদিন মাহমুদ রেজা মনজুর কাদের মঞ্জু জয়েন্ট সেক্রেটারি নজরু ইসলাম ফাইনান্স সেক্রেটারি দেবদুল আল ভৌমিক Bangladesh Federal Union of Journalists, Vice President Riaz Haider Chaudhry, Chottogram Journalists Union President Muhammad Ali, former President of the Press Club Abu Sufyan and, Kali, and Kulim Asarwar, among others, spoke. <laughs> Dr. Deepo Monia said the next secondary school certificate, SSC, and equivalent examinations will be held in June 2021 and higher secondary certificate HSC and equivalent exams in July, August. She said this while addressing a virtual press briefing in Dhaka today. 
speaking about the results of the HSC exams of 2020. She said the results have already been prepared and will be published in the first week of January 2021, soon after issuing an ordinance to this end. <laughs> তাহলে 2021 সালের জুন নাগাদ আশা করছি যে এসএসসি বা সমমান পরীক্ষা আমরা হয়তো বা গ্রহণ করতে পারবো আমরা 2021 সালের জুলাই আগস্ট নাগাদ আমরা এইচএসসি বা সমমান পরীক্ষা গ্রহণের একটা আশা প্রকাশ করছি বিশেষ পরিস্থিতিতে বিশেষ বিকল্প ব্যবস্থায় যে আমরা ফলাফল দিচ্ছি সেটি সংক্রান্ত একটি অধ্যাদেশ খুব সহজেই জারি করা হবে সেটির কাজ এখন প্রক্রিয়াধীন রয়েছে 30 COVID-19 patients died in the country, taking the death toll from the pandemic to 7,509. The recovery count, on the other hand, rose to 4,54,563 after another 1,245 people recovered during this period. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services confirmed this today. The tally of infections rose to 5,11,261 with 1,181 new cases being confirmed. And now, international news. The novel coronavirus has had a devastating impact around the globe, but the World Health Organization warned that worse pandemics could lie ahead, urging the world to get serious about preparedness. At the last media briefing of the year, WHO Emergencies Chief Michael Ryan said this is a wake-up call. This pandemic has been very severe, Ryan acknowledged. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll crossed 17,85,000 with more than 8 crore 18,85,000 infected. More than 5 crore 79,75,000 people have recovered so far. Agencies critical to your security have suffered enormous damage at the hands of the Trump administration. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden has said. Biden said his team was not getting the information it needed, including from the Department of Defense, as it makes its transition to power. He spoke after a briefing by national security and foreign policy aides. Meanwhile, U.S. President Donald Trump has belatedly signed into law a coronavirus relief and spending package bill aimed at averting a partial government shutdown. And now news from the world of sports. Saif Sporting Club reached the quarterfinals of the Federation Cup football as B Group champion beating Aramba Kriyashongo by one goal to nil today. At the Bongo International Stadium, Arif Rahman scored the lone goal for Saif Sporting. Saif Sporting won their, all their three matches in the group stage. In the first match of the day, Uttura Baridhara def Uttur Baridhara defeated Brothers Union by three goals to nil and reached quarterfinals as B group runners up. If Gedi, Shumon Reza, and Mahmoud Said scored one goal each for Uttur Baridhara. And now before we end the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. National Economic Council, NEC, approves eighth five-year plan, placing priority on tackling COVID-19 and creating employment opportunities. Mass people getting benefits of development as power is in people's hands, Prime Minister says at NEC conference. One thousand eight hundred and four Rohingyas reach Bhashanchor in the second phase. First cargo ship anchors on trial basis at country's first deep sea port in Matarbari of Maheshkali.
massive voter turnout in municipal elections proves democracy marching forward, says Obadu Kadir. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the Awami League nurture culture of criticism, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. World Health Organization warns of more severe pandemics from Corona. Global death toll from coronavirus crosses 17,85,000. And in Federation Cup football, newcomer North Abaritara Club reached quarterfinals defeating Brothers Union by three goals to nil. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our news at 11.30.